so welcome everyone to another interactive session on career guidance. Uh, today we are going to learn about careers in pharmacy and uh, for that we have uh, among us Dr. Sanjay Banerjee who is an associate professor at uh, Naipur Gauhati. Uh, Naipur is one of the leading institutes uh, for research and education in, in pharmaceutical uh, sciences. So we'll know more about it from uh, Dr. Banerjee. So welcome Dr. Banerjee to this uh, platform and thanks for uh, doing this. Uh, so thanks, Saurabh. I think this is a great initiative of this career guidance to the you know young minds of the school's children, students. So I think um, is really helpful for them, you know, to knowing uh, some of the you know field uh, which True. is uh, not much having a, their knowledge on that particular field. True. So I think really great initiative. Thank you so much. So before we learn about uh, various aspects of the pharmacy profession, uh, we would really like to know more about you. So could you please go ahead and uh, you know talk sure. about talk about your journey and a bit about your professional uh, career? Sure, I'll be happy to share my journey. You know, um, as you know, um, I I uh, I grew up in a place from a Bengal. Uh, it's a very small uh, you know town near to Kharagpur. So my um, schooling was, uh, you know, um, done in that uh, small town. Uh, well, it's a very small place. Name is Bishnupur. So after 12th standard, I moved to Calcutta, uh, where I did my bachelor in pharmacy and master in pharmacy from Jadapur University. And then um, I uh, did my PhD from All Industrial Medical Sciences, New Delhi. And uh, after that, I moved to US for postdoctoral training in two different institutes, New York State University and University of Pittsburgh. And then I came back to India and, uh, you know, I'm continuing the, you know, my field. And uh, so this is a small journey, whatever I've done till that. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, what motivated you to get into this field of pharmacy? Um, any event or any person that particularly motivated motivated you? Yeah, very good question. So, you know, uh, my father is a school teacher. Uh, so he, uh, he used to, you know, um, teach uh, physics, chemistry, and maths. So um, he, uh, whenever in, uh, I was in school, he, he used to keep a good training on science, especially chemistry part. Uh, whenever, you know, I used to sit with him, give a very good, uh, you know, um, you know, training on, on chemistry, especially organic chemistry. So uh, when I was going to complete my uh, 12th standard, you know, and, and that time people were, or the students crazed to go to engineering or medical. So I was the more crazed to go to engineering. So I appeared for joint entrance uh, examination from Bengal. And then uh, I got a score, but uh, uh, my score is not that good that I can get uh, electronics computer, although I didn't have that much interest that time. So I was looking chemical engineering in my profession, but uh, somehow uh, that chemical engineering that time, uh, only two places uh, in, uh, in Bengal, uh, like Jalapu University and Durgapur Ari College, it was now NIT. So I missed that opportunity. So I was looking something should be chemistry uh, related. And my father, as a, he was also love chemistry, he was also, you know, um, you know, uh, told me, ki, you know, this is something if you really like chemistry, why not go for pharmaceutical, uh, you know, field? So where you'll get a, a good opportunity to do something with the chemistry. And uh, I was convinced, and then you know, I didn't hesitate. And and you know, ki in uh, Bengal Jalpu University, one of the good engineering college. And, um, and it was come actually under engineering faculty, uh, the pharmaceutical technology. So I joined there um, in uh, 1992. So that was the journey why I uh, you know, joined pharmacy field. Great. Uh, so whenever people think about pharmacy, uh, most of us uh, usually think of it as a pharmacy store where you go to buy medicines. But I'm pretty sure it's much more beyond that. Uh, so before we learn more about it and how to make a career in that, uh, could you in very simple terms describe what is the profession of pharmacy uh, and what does a pharmacist, what can a pharmacist do? Okay, uh, very good question. I think no one asked me this question before. 
and um, and uh, I think you know um, there are uh, I can divide pharmacy into two different uh, aspect. You know why? Because pharmacy is a field which is related to the health. Okay, so. Um, if you look in, in, in other country, pharmacy profession is very much linked to the health business. Like they are uh, doing working together with the doctors and nurses together to, um, you know, to really contribute to the improving your uh, health condition. So um, they also, you know, uh, you know um, do with the, in the same way the doctors that things do, or they also go with the doctors and nurses. They look the, you know, uh, the patient condition and they decide what is the drug they, have, they will provide to the patients. So there are different kinds of drugs there on the same disease. So they, they, on the basis of the patient condition and the patient background, on the patient other complications, they choose the drug. And doctors have to diagnose them, okay? So, uh, so that is a, one of the good pro part of the pharmacist job. If you basically find a best drug for the treatment, okay? But in India, somehow this concept is not there. So in India, we do other aspect like, you know, pharmacy people, they are become a part of the industry, pharmaceutical industry. What is the job of pharmaceutical technologists or who pass out from pharmacy background? They join in an industry and they become a part of the manufacturing of the uh, pharmaceutical doses form. You, whatever the tablet, capsule, you know, liquid doses form, inject, injection vials, have you seen in the home or somewhere? So that is manufacturing in, a, in in industry. So they take a part of the manufacturing part, quality control part, and even the packaging of these things. They're taking care also how to, you know, um, day to do activity in industry. And all these things basically train very well in your pharmacy when you actually uh, started your bachelor of pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, nobody thought about making a career to basically uh, to do a drug dispensing in a hospital until unless you are not confident enough you uh, are not able to uh, go for you know those kind of job suppose you are more business minded you want to open a shop because the pharmacy after getting the degree pharmacy degree you can eligible to basically get a license to open a uh, medical shop so definitely this is the another alternative option if you want to do, you said, okay, I don't want to go in other kind of job. I want to open a shop in my hometown or where you are from, and I want to do business. So that's the option is there. And very few people also go to the hospital for uh, doing the uh, you know, drug dispensing. Although this is mostly people from diploma background, they join. But nowadays, a lot of pharmacy, uh, bachelor degree background, they also choosing a career in a hospital or good, uh, you know, uh, uh, nursing home where I you know they can join and that's also giving a you know good career. I see interesting. So it's not only just about um, going to opening a pharmacy store, it's also about uh, assisting doctors and then you can also go into research. I'm sure we'll learn more about that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned briefly about B farm and later you you have also done your M farm. Um, uh, we would like to know what are some of the courses which are taught in in this B farm uh, during this B farm um, journey. Uh, maybe like if you have five to six broad courses which um, one would expect to learn if he or she registers in a B farm course. Yeah, um, I think uh, very important question because most of the times who come uh, for study pharmacy they don't know what are the main curriculum exactly. the subject for pharmacy. So yeah. how the student know they are fit into these courses, okay? So, you know, when you talk about pharmacy, I like to tell because students are here. So pharmacy is something you have to deal with the drugs. So when you deal with the drugs, drug is a, a simple chemical molecules. It has made by carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and it's a mostly that organic compounds. So, um, you know, I say, ki, suppose if you, uh, your whole subjects, 50% subject will be chemistry-based subject. So uh, chemistry-based subject means you have to learn about chemical structure. You have to learn about how to synthesize them. You have to learn about how to analyze them because a lot of analysis techniques are very important for this field because uh, whenever you, know, you, you, you make the uh, final doses form, the finished doses form, 
you have to see that right amount is present in that this tablet capsule or liquid dose form. So you have to test them. There are way of doing it, how many sample you test. There are methods to statistically analyze that, okay, out of one lakh tablet, you can choose only 10 or 12. So you have to test that, suppose it's a 500 milligram paracetamol. You have to say, yes, 500 milligram is there. Or maybe some percentage uh, you, uh, you can go for it, maybe plus minus, maybe 20 milligram is okay. It is acceptable, may not be. So you have to learn a lot of analysis part uh, for every drug is different. Their chemical structure is different. So different kind of analysis are involved to identify the drug concentration that present in the doses form. So this is the analysis very important. Second part is that that drug stability because of drug molecules. So if you put in room temperature, okay, or how long you can make it stable. Like drug is degrading with the room temperature with time. Some drugs are stable, some drugs are not. You have to, even sunlight, even if you put in sunlight, some drugs uh, having a change. So you have to understand the chemical nature of the drug. So chemistry is the very important part of, you know, pharmacy. Uh, because as I said that you have to know that every molecules, they're having a structure and uh, how they even react to the body because everything once the drug goes inside of the body that's a lot of chemical reaction happening so you have to know again the, what is happening how body is treating the any foreign molecules this again chemistry is there so that way i say 50 percent of your courses is a chemistry based then your uh, you know 30 percent is coming to biology based again if i say biology is not a pure biology it's a biology i say biochemistry because uh, as I said, uh, when drugs is going inside of your body, how it binding to different kind of target, like it's a, some receptor, protein, transporter, how it giving your response, drug response in the body. So those are, so for that you have to understand a little bit uh, physiology part also, your human body system. Like what are the doctors they learn from the first year or second year? The physiology, biochemistry, you have to learn also those parts, physiology and biochemistry very well. And uh, then the another part is the formulation and the technology part. This is 20% of your pharmacy courses. So every drugs, you it is not a, like, when you see the tablet or capsule, this is not that only the paracetamol is present. So it's a paracetamol tablet. This is not only 500 milligram paracetamol is present. Also you having a, around the same amount or more than two times or three times, some other excipients are present, more other ingredients are present. What are those ingredients? Those are kind of some binding agents, some stabilizing agents, some uh, antibacterial agents, so many other uh, kind of materials are there. So those also very important part to understand that how we formulate the drug. So formulas is a very important part and the manufacturing part, now coming the manufacturing. So you have to know from the beginning, if you get a raw material, so the raw metal mostly come from a, uh, some you know, uh, kind of chemical factory where they are synthesizing those chemical structure. This come in a you know, uh, kilogram levels or more than that. So those raw material, basically, you, know, you have to go for one by one step to make the tablet capsules or whatever the other doses form. So there are several steps are there. You have to understand each and every step. You have to understand the instrument are using for that, uh, you know, each and every step. So you have to understand the manufacturing process very well because if you do mistakes, so you have to throw the whole batch. Suppose you are making a, a five lakh tablet in a one batch. If you're not past the quality control, if they said your, your amount is not good, so you have to throw the, all the tablet capsule. So it's a huge loss. So you have to know key the process very well. Again, suppose every tablet, they're having a hardness factor. It not be very hard, it not be very soft. If it's a very hard, it will not melt inside of your body. If it's a very soft, it will be a problem. So that hardness factor is very important. So there are different tests out there, each and every step. You have to understand the manufacturing process and uh, that manufacturing process in every day actually changing the technology. So you have to update with that technology. So the 20% part of the pharmacy curriculum to understand the formulation and the new technology coming day to day to manufacturing or tablet, capsule, Including, I want to say that the new vaccine, you know, that we're preparing uh, vaccine biomolecules, all these things are part coming to your uh, in pharmacy. Very interesting. We we were not aware of all these aspects. Um, 
could you throw some light on how much of math or physics is required in the in the pharmacy field because some people may be intimidated um by the by that fact uh, i know you said 50% is chemistry and then there is some biochemistry um, also which was very interesting to me what about math and physics yeah so um i would say ki um if you want to study pharmacy you need to know math physics but not that much as other engineering field okay, okay. so uh, as i said ki when you do manufacturing uh, anything so you have to understand little bit math that math is not very complicated math you have to understand that okay uh, some calculations and uh, you have to know that you know starting how you are starting your compounds and all these things and the how to what will be the end product what is the percentage of the yield and some analysis part needs some mathematics like is a chemistry based mathematics so okay. those mathematics are involved into it and uh, physics i say ki basic understanding of physics are very important because when you are uh, doing uh, that you know uh, industry work everything is a instrument or machine so machine run by physics law so you have to knowing that ki as i said you are making some hardness of the tablet so here also you have to know how much force have to give if you increase the force the it will be increase the hardness it will less force less hardness okay then when you are making at the end part of the tablet we give a one coating so if you see that in the in the outer layer is a very glossy and some red color blue color one coating is there so coating also is a happening in a kind of you know chamber which is rotating so that rotation also important how much speed it will go yeah so those kind of little bit physics knowledge are important and you'll get all those knowledge during in your study so i say ki if you 12th standard you're good in physics and chemistry that is more than enough and mathematics you are weak don't have to be worry because you don't have any that uh, you know very complicated or you know huge math in in pharmacy curriculum yeah i think it's a very important point that you um, made very clear thank you so much um so you mentioned this was regarding the b farm course right and yeah. then uh, you went i had and did your masters and then of course phd um so are there any specializations that one can choose after a b farm uh, during their m farm or phd courses in in pharmacy or is it just a general a uh, pharmacy degree so yes uh, i think uh, uh, very good questions because when you go for pharmacy profession at the beginning we didn't know that yes there are specialization after completion of your bachelor degree yeah. so and uh, depending on your uh, specialization your job will be very much specified after completion of uh, your master degree so as i said i think i'll not go to the uh, department wise i'll tell about job wise so there are specialization for analysis so uh, if you uh, want to join in a, a quality control or um, you know drug or quality control department okay or drug assays so we having a specialization for pharmaceutical analysis where you basically learn about the after uh, you know uh, manufacturing the finished product it will come to you you have to test it you have to tell that yes this is right or the amount is present is right the drug is not degraded so all this testing is happening by by the analysis people so we are being a specialization for two years after your bachelor degree this is called analysis next part is a, as i said ki and manufacturing also you know very important so who want to know more details or more advanced knowledge of manufacturing or more advanced you know drug formulation we having a formulation and technology uh, you know specialization so they are very much interested to the production of the you know in in the industry so that that is one of the specialization then also some people does anal, uh, you know specialization on testing the molecule in animal and human because uh, when the drugs comes to the market it has to go to huge amount of test in biological system because you cannot go directly in human so you have to try in different kind of animal first and then go to human so there are specialization where you can learn that how to test the molecule in animals and also human then uh, specialization is there for biotechnology nowadays lot of drugs are made by biotechnology process they are not a very simple drugs like uh, they are product from biological organism uh, organization like you know uh, or organism i say 
so suppose as a vaccine is a product of the you know some kind of you know virus itself or it's some modified genetically virus some monoclonal antibody so those are biological product and these are uh, very complicated uh, product they are storing they are manufacturing everything is not very easy so we having a specialization of pharmaceutical biotechnology then the last one i need to say suppose you are not interest to work in a laboratory you are not interest to do in a technology point of view you are interested to marketing point of view we are also having a mba in pharmaceutical mba so mm-hmm. only nipar they provide pharmaceutical mba so after completion of your b farm you can join that mba so you will be basically working in in marketing point of view that because that is a very important subject in because once you de- prepare a drug so it has to be sell you have to convince to the patients doctors that drug has a really important role so these are the few specialization and then you said you said there is a b farm which is 3 or 4 years and then there is m farm which is another 2 years how does it work in india so b farm is a 4 years so this is a uh, common like any other engineering degree uh, so uh, uh after 4 years uh, you have to go for master degree which is the cell for 2 years and master degree you know it is uh, in the 2 years first year you have to learn a lot of theory and practical but the, but the second year the full year you have to do a project which will be you have to go industry like any pharmaceutical industry like dr z d is or sun pharmaceuticals or any other you know uh, cadilla you can go one year you work in industry you do a project you learn actually how industry work or you can do the same project in the institute where you are doing your master degree so it could be research based project or it could be industry based project depending on your choice you can choose because from here you are planning that what will be your basically focus in your career if yeah. you do more r and d based research and development based focus you can think about to industry or institute where you can do research based project if you are is basically you know uh, industry mostly analysis products and something quality control then it will be different kind of training so that they have to decide that time yeah i think that is that is very important and now coming to the aspect of um, one important aspect which many people think about while choosing a career and which i think is again um, one of importance uh is uh, what are the monetary rewards uh that you know like you have spoken about different lines right you can go into r and d or industry even open a pharmaceutical uh, like a pharm- pharmacy uh what are some of what are the monetary benefit rewards in each of these lines and maybe you can also throw some light on um uh, what is the kind of lifestyle uh that uh, professionals in these lines for, um have or uh, maybe by lifestyle i mean work life balance and talk about like locations job locations etc so um, yeah i think uh, this is only you know people can say when you they having experience you know monetary rewards because with time you can see the change in the you know our society and change the industry so as the industry doing well their growth is there definitely money is there because they they are doing business if they doing good business you get a good money if they not able to do a good business you not get money but fortunately i like to tell you pharmaceutical and biotechnology field is something like they always growth is there i have seen that around 16% growth in the health business uh, so that means okay um, so companies you know they are you know um, every day they have a lot of demands to make a new drug molecule new products okay they could not make up the demands we really have in the society you just simply think about the corona virus you cannot able to make vaccine to give each and every individual in india and other countries we cannot make it because uh, the kind of uh, you know manpower products and you need all this required okay we don't have that much manpower frankly speaking this is a big challenge for pharmaceutical industries to make a good manpower or who can actually able to actually uh, you know fulfill our demand of the society you see that whenever we having a problem we never hesitate to you know pay the money to buy medicine we always ready okay but sometimes certain essential medicine is not available and you know in india almost you know 50% of the drug that we export 
and uh, still i think there is a more uh, scope for the industry so money i say ki monetary point of view yes there is uh, good uh, your salary or you know monetary benefit is there but i like to tell you the first two years maximum three years is a very you know, important time for your career growth so this time you may not get a money good money because so when you pass out from your bachelor degree even your master degree so um, they not give you huge money beginning because they 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 have to train you first one year is a good training so if you get a good training first one year second year you can make it a good uh, you know uh, your um, you know i say ki whatever you learn you can perform very well in the industry so you don't have to worry in a third year you definitely jump to a uh, very good company and i have seen some of my friends and uh, who first 10 years the career uh, you know they started very low salary but every two years or one year they jump to a double salary so when now if i can say the uh, they reach in a very high level with a huge money i can say industry they don't hesitate to pay you money so you pay a good money rewards are very high and even people cannot expect that that much money is there in pharmaceutical industry or biotech industry uh so but you have to be make ready or up, you know you have to update your knowledge you have to learn new technology all the time so uh, so not i and i can say ki this is some field where you never sit at home you having a job all the time as i said the worst case when you see that i don't have any job you don't want to do you can open your one pharmacy your uh, shop that's also having a good money so uh, you know i don't want to say the your uh, the any particular number because you know number varies uh, per place to place so but i say ki yes definitely good money whenever high hard my uh, my you know bachelor degree now i can see my friends who are my batchmates they are getting more than that whatever i had so that's why uh, people should not be worry about money money is there now as you said job location so coming to the job location very important okay so as you know industry and uh, factory they are not in a city they are always in the outskirt of the city so in india most of the factories are in gujarat and mumbai uh, but nowadays uh, you know government giving a good support if you having a uh, factory or the production unit in a hill area especially himachal pradesh and sikkim they are doing very good lot of industries are there good advantage is that they get a lot of government benefit because lot of tax and so many things they don't have to provide second thing is that the environment actually very helpful for them because as i said drug molecule yeah the temperature is very important if you do manufacture in a place in delhi suppose temperature is 47 degree centigrade in summer so you know ki your inside temperature has to be 25 or 26 so you and if that somehow it fell you are maintaining the temperature huge loss so they always like in a place like in a hill area like himachal pradesh or sikkim yeah uttaranchal all those places they like the uh, to develop their manufacturing unit and that is uh, you know very good for them and but at the same time lot of jobs are there which is basically in the cities like in you know, mumbai uh, chennai hyderabad bengaluru calcutta so some jobs also good uh, jobs is there especially biotechnology jobs you know pune also right now coming a big uh, lot of biotechnology industries coming so i think uh, if you go production then mostly gujarat and uh, uttaranchal and uh, himachal pradesh but the other jobs are mostly in the cities very interesting uh, i think that is an, another important element that one needs to take in mind um before deciding um which which location i mean which be, before deciding which career line to choose uh now you have basically spoken on a scope in india and uh, you know different types of job roles one can hold uh i would like to also know about what is the scope outside india um in in the other countries um maybe in the us or uk uh, if you have a degree from india like a b farm from any indian college uh what is the scope outside india or can can one move outside india yeah again uh, this is a uh, another uh, your subject or you know field where a very high scope in uh, abroad uh, i like to tell ki almost my 30 to 40% my batchmates are in abroad 
because um, uh, pharma is a field, as I said, he is a uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies are very, uh, you know, they are uh, enriched in a lot of countries like US, UK, Sweden. You know? So uh, if you do very good, so your job opportunity is there in different industries. Besides that also, uh, you can go for PhD after master degree, even your MS PhD degrees are possible from US and other countries. Those options are there. But another option I like to tell you, like a lot of people like the job. That's why, as I said, US, like here are the job in, we don't have a job in a big hospital like AIMS or, you know, kind of uh, Velour Medical College. So they are not dependent on pharmacists to treat patients. But US, they are fully dependent on pharmacists to treat patients and they play a very important role. And their salary is very high, as very similar to the uh, doctors. So, but how to go there? You having a, actually, if you having a, uh, your uh, bachelor degree, so if you want to move in, in US, there are two exams there. So one is uh, that uh, foreign uh, pharmacy graduate equivalency exam. So that is there. If you pass that exam, you have to go for another exam. It's called North American Pharmacist Licensure Examination. It's called NAPTELEX. So if you cross these two exams, you are eligible to you know, uh, practice pharmacy in the US. And pharmacy job in the US is a very lucrative job, very you know, high respect job. And I've seen some of my friends actually, they just changed uh, their profession to doing a pharmacist job in the US. Even Canada also, Australia, those places are scopes are there to doing a pharmacist, but you have to eligible as per their you know, uh, requirement. So those scopes are definitely there. So not only in India, pharmacists have a lot of scope in, in the US and other countries also outside India. Yes. Okay. Uh, so coming to another important aspect of uh, a career line, which is cost of education. Uh, it has, I, I'm sure it has been a while that uh, you were a student of B Farm or M Farm. Uh, do you have any idea about what is the cost of education now in the, in the current scenario uh, to pursue a B Farm and possibly a M Farm? Uh, maybe yes. a, I think that depends on either your private or a public. College. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Do you have any ballpark figures? Yeah, but I can tell you. Um, see, nowadays I'm telling you, India in education system may hugely change. Like my time, you know, uh, we don't have to pay much money, very less. Like it is a negligible amount to pay for uh, doing, uh, you know, my bachelor master degree. But nowadays, actually, even you know, IITs and AIMS, all those institutes where almost previously you don't have to pay anything, now we have to pay a good amount. So uh, for pharmacy, I like to tell you that um, most of the good institute, private institute, like we having a Monipal University, uh, Bits Pilani, then uh, BIT Mesra, and uh, Velour Institute of Technology, uh, Amity University, they are a very good pharmacy actually institute are there. So part semester is a six month semester. I have seen it is a around, I say 40 to 60,000 rupees approximately. It may be a little bit plus minus, but uh, if you do 40 to 60,000 uh, 60, uh, every semester, so uh, that is the actually cost. But if you go to uh, government institute, again, it's very, very less. It will be, uh, again, maybe 15,000 to 20,000 per semester. And then there, so, are, then there are eight semesters, I think. Yeah, the eight semesters. So it's a four year. So accordingly, you can calculate. And as I said, if you stay in a hostel or some other facilities, so accordingly, every university uh, have different their, you know, the cost. So this is approximately whatever I said. Okay, and then there would be other book, book cost of books and other other resources. Yeah, if you buy the cost of books and uh, that is there, but I say ki most of the institute they have a good library, and uh, you you don't sometimes you don't have to buy a lot of books because the our India all education institute they they provide a good library and you can get books you can make a Xerox few pages that can be helpful. Uh, that is the cost of education. What about any other auxiliary cost or cost after pursuing or after you're pursuing your um, your bachelor's degree? If you want to start your own pharmacy or in, go into any other line, uh, are there are there like any investments or any other cost that you need to account for? So uh, most of the cases, uh, I would say ki if you go for entrepreneurship for your own business, like you know making a pharmacy shop, yes, you need a good amount of money. Uh, you need a you know good. I say it 
minimum 20 lakh to 40 lakh something you require to start your own business so most of the cases in india it's not possible so we generally go for a job but uh, if you go for a job i don't think you have to pay anything only you have to search job you have to go uh, some of the institute they have a campus interview and a lot of companies come they take them uh, otherwise also you know at the beginning i said the first two years is a very uh, difficult uh, you know journey for every field here also uh, suppose you 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 are uh, from a place where uh, you don't have any good pharmaceutical industry in your state or place so you have to go to Mumbai or Gujarat or you know Sikkim or Himachal Pradesh. So first few months maybe you have to be spent uh, some money. So I could say ki around yeah fifty thousand to one lakh money should be in your pocket to go some places where you will uh, you know search job, stay there, and even personally if you visited few places and if you show your CV, they go for interview and you get a job. Especially in the first, as I said, one year, you should not be thinking about money. You should think a good place where you can get a good training. Sure, sure. Uh, for people sitting in the audience, you mentioned that one important inclination is chemistry. I mean, you have to have passion towards uh, chemistry and some physics. And you also mentioned biochemistry. And not it's not so math heavy, right? Pharmacy. Yeah. yeah. Um, what are some of the other personal inclinations or attributes one needs to have uh, to recognize himself or herself as a potential pharmacist or a, a pharmaceutical expert? Okay. Uh, see, uh, as I said, as you also said, chemistry is the important part. You should like the chemistry first. If you don't like chemistry, I would say uh, don't go because uh, people after going to pharmacy and they see to, okay, so many chemical structure reaction and they feel that key, okay, it is not for them. Don't think the biology is the main for pharmacy. It's a chemistry base. So you have to understand chemistry. Even if you think biology is a biochemistry, okay? So that is the first thing. You have to like the chemistry. And second thing is that you should like to, you know, to make something. Like it's a kind of, as I said, you are making a new tablet, capsule, something. So you have to be interested to work in an industry or production unit. Like, uh, you know, and you should be happy to work in a, you know, in an environment where a team is working. So it's not a single person's job, okay? And um, you will be working in a team where is, the team is a very big team, okay? So you have to, um, you know, like that, to work as a, you know, um, good number of people. And uh, the more important thing I should say, ki, suppose most of us, we have seen that people are suffering surrounding us. Okay, a lot of people, they're having a disease. And most of the cases, they're going to hospital, clinic, doctors, they are not recovering. If we have in mind that I want to do something for those patients and who are not getting a good treatment because medicine is not there, drug is not there. Okay, you want to you know, contribute something and then it is the subject for you. You should jump to pharmacy field because no subject or no field can give you the opportunity to make a new drugs or you know think about a patient to treat them and also a lot of you know new innovation coming in the treatment strategy so all these are possible if you are in pharmacy field sure. so if you don't like to see people suffer in the society you want to contribute so you think that this is for me so you can come and definitely do good in the field very enlightening thank you so much um, now let us talk about how do you get into this profession. Um, people in the audience are um, maybe in their ninth or tenth standard. Um, how do you approach? How do you approach your academics in terms of uh, preparation towards competitive exams? And what are some of the competitive exams that they need to take? Maybe after tenth or after twelfth uh, to get into pharmacy yes. colleges. Yeah, I think um, uh, it's very important thing. Yes. I, I like to say, you know, you having your 12 standard, 11 and 12 standard courses and uh, try to read or understand very basic of the subjects. Don't uh, think that I have to learn, I have to do huge syllabus, or I have to cover a lot of things. No, it don't require. Understand the basic principles, like if the all physics law, how they working, okay, how those laws are ap applied in different kind of you know, problem solving. Okay. Even you are learning chemistry, 
uh, what kind of you know molecules are they are reacting each other what is their you know uh, the function of each and every groups so suppose you have hydroxyl groups nh2 groups what is their function you have to try to understand little bit on mathematical point of view also the calculation part so if you understand very basic understanding of the so all these subjects physics chemistry biology maths you can easily can crack the exam you don't need to go yeah. for a, learn a lot uh, which exam do you, do you need to answer okay this is important because i i was uh, asking uh, my some of my uh, students who have just cracked the exam and they join in bachelor pharmacy master of pharmacy so bachelor pharmacy every state they have their joint entrance so some of the state they having a joint entrance for pharmacy separately what have to go for physics chemistry and biology mostly in the south part Uh, including maharashtra i think andhra tamil nadu all those i think south part they having a physics chemistry biology north part or east part uh, some places physics chemistry biology some cases physics chemistry only two like in bengal west bengal they previously was physics chemistry maths now they realize the math is not that much required so lot of Uh, you know uh, student who having interest in pharmacy they are not able to come because of the maths they are not that good so they now remove maths only physics and chemistry they are uh, you have to go for exam and if you uh, get a good marks you can come for it so i would say ki yes physics chemistry biology three things you have to be good but if you little bit because if physics you having a lot of maths if you know maths of the physics and chemistry that is enough so you'll be very good on you or you can make it uh, you know good score in the exam sure. so it's basically about the, there are some competitive exams which are common entrance tests yeah all are joined in the senior pre state okay and uh, you may or you may not go for any coaching uh, to any coaching centers uh, but if you learn on your own also you can you can do well in, in... yeah you don't need to i i i i i like to say if you having a good teacher in your school and uh, they are very interactive they are discussing your you know what are the your uh, problem or they are try to give you know proper suggestions and i think you don't need to go for any coaching it is okay you can do at home but if you feel that ki okay your school is not very good you need a special coaching where you can learn good so you can go but it depends on your 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 scenario and how uh, what uh, your school teacher how your school teacher so all all depends on person to person yes sure. uh, let us now talk about misconceptions in the field uh, as i said earlier in this session that uh, one of the common misconception is that if you go into pharmacy people end up in a opening a pharmacy store and working uh, all day there uh, are there any other misconceptions that uh, you would like to first yeah one of the misconceptions that people think pharmacy is biology uh, i say ki no it is not a biology it is a uh, you need to know biology but mostly chemistry okay so uh, so who think that you are a very good biology i want to do pharmacy please uh, you have to be think twice okay and second thing is that ki uh, you know uh, pharmacy is a definitely one professional course and you are preparing yourself for you know contributing in something on health business or you know drug uh, development drug discovery manufacturing drug find but if you go to the higher study like when you are going to master degree as i said you have to take a one year complete project where you can go for a your research project so from that time point you are not a pharmacy person because that time you are solving some kind of problem which is like health problem and to solve the health problem you need to interact with every subject maybe chemistry physics mathematician you know molecular biology doctors good engineers so you not cannot differentiate yourself you are a pharmacist or then you a lot of basic people who are come from you know basic background they are not a, from engineers or medical field so you have to work with them so then you can realize that okay uh, so whatever you learn definitely that is a plus point for you you know a lot of things but uh, it, you are not a pharmacy at that time even uh, one thing i forget to tell you there's another scope is coming in pharmacy is called medical device 
So um, in uh, NIPA, in my institute and several other NIPAs, they are having a specialization in medical device. What is medical device? As I said, some drugs are small molecule, chemical based drugs. Second group of drugs are biological based drugs like vaccine, monoclonal antibody. Now, third group of treatment is a medical device. Suppose you got a, you got a problem in your heart, heart is not pumping well. You can put a device in the top of the heart, heart will be get signaling, you know, and it will be pumped continuously. So this is a small device you put inside of the body. So that will be basically help you to, you know, cure your, what is the problem you have. So medical device was another scope for pharmacy professions, but you not get medical device a lot during your bachelor, but master degree, you can get it. But if you go for medical device, your physics knowledge has to be very good. Otherwise you cannot do well. So that's why, you know, the misconception that, okay, pharmacy means biology or, you know, it's not that you have to be learned physics, chemistry, both chemistry is a much more, but also physics knowledge will help you when you go for the uh, specialized like medical device. And as I said, at the, if you go to the higher study, then every subject you learn in your uh, physics, chemistry, maths, in your whatever, it will be very helpful to do, you know, uh, good contribution uh, in your research field. Yeah, that's important. So I think with all the very exciting information that you have given out today, many people in the audience would like to go into pharmacy. Uh, but my one question is, if someone does not get into pharmacy by any chance, uh, what next? Or what is the field which is closest uh, to the to Yeah, pharmacy? true. Uh, I think uh, if, in case if you miss pharmacy or you are not interested by you need uh, very uh, related to field, I can say that there are courses in biotechnology. So those biotechnology, like it, uh, you having a uh, BSc, MSc biotechnology, you having a BTech, MTech biotechnology. So this is a good courses, which is, uh, you know, very helpful. And um, second is a biochemist. Suppose you don't want to go any technology, any kind of very professional degree. You want to go for a basic degree, which is uh, you can contribute in future or when you go for master or PhD, you can do in drug discovery kind of research. So biochemistry is the very good choice. So you can go for BSc, MSc in a very good places. So that can reach you the same places from where the pharmacy professional are reaching. And the third one, industrial microbiology. Because industrial microbiology is a field where also you get a lot of scope in biotechnology and drug discovery because a lot of antibiotics and a lot of infectious disease like, you know, are coming day to day. And uh, we need a good microbiologist to, you know, uh, to give a treatment or diagnosis point of view. So these three fields, biotechnology, biochemistry, industrial microbiology, I think very, very good subject for future. Thank you so much. I think that was very informative. I think we have covered most of the aspects of the profession and how to make a career in that. Uh, before we conclude and take questions from the audience, is there one final piece of advice that you would like to give uh, to people in the young minds in the audience uh, in terms of career or uh, in general? So uh, my, my uh, suggestion is to you, uh, you need to be a little bit focused that what you want to do in your career. Definitely this is important. But you should enjoy whatever you are studying. You should not be much worried and should not be much stressful. Because as I said, if you don't get whatever you want, you can get something very similar and ultimately is a pyramid. If you put in the somewhere in your you know, line, ultimately at the end, if you good, you will reach to the same place where the, any professional people are reaching. So you should enjoy what you're doing and not be any stressful. If you miss the trend, you have a next trend. You can get, get the next trend. You can reach your whatever your goal. So don't be panic. Don't be worry much. And uh, enjoy uh, the study. Enjoy the, you know, your, uh, you know, what are the syllabus is there. Interact more with the teachers and your friends who have a good understanding of the subject. And I would say, ki, you know, uh, and uh, in your profession, Try to do good in something where you can contribute to the society. It could be engineering, medical, pharmacy, any other field. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Banerjee. Thanks for sharing all your valuable insights and information. I'm pretty sure people in the audience would have benefited out of this. And I myself learned a lot today about pharmacy as a profession. So thank you again for coming on this platform and uh, being with us. Thank you, Saurabh. 
thanks a lot for you know asking all these questions and uh, it is really you know helpful for me also to understand the subject because i'm working long time in this field but the question you ask really helped me also you know uh, to so many things which i have not have you know have to ask myself so you basically help me to you know get those things out yep thank you